it's Betsy and today we're going to be testing out the Mystic Unicorn Palette by Mary Jane Beauty and Bombshell Cosmetica. My daughter ordered this and it took like six weeks literally to get here. It got trapped in Puerto Rico. So, and it came in the PR packaging which looks like this. And then when you open it up, here is the palette. Thank goodness for the PR packaging because then you can store this and it's not odd shaped. And it is magnetized together. This side has a mirror. And then you have your shades over here. And I figured this would be a fun one, especially with it being Halloween. So we'll start off by swatching the eyeshadows. So first off is Fuzzy, which is just a really pretty iridescent -y, light blue, purple, pink, iridescent. I wouldn't say duochrome it's more of a trichrome now we're going to check out daddy perp which is pretty much the same thing with a little bit of pinky more pinkness to it when you layer it up some it's got a nice sheen to it next we're going to get into a matte which is called bubblegum oh that feels nice and soft it doesn't swatch the best but we can build that up Swatching is not my thing. And to me, you're not gonna tell the quality of a, a palette from the swatches. Next is a purple shade called Purple Urkel. Yes, I realize that these are Mary Jane themed names. That's a pretty shade of purple though. Next is a metallic called Berry Kush. Maybe it's my swatching. That's a really pretty metallic. Then we have another metallic called indigo and it is a indigo blue. Looks like that. Then it is green queen and it is a really pretty almost forest undertone Kelly green. And that indigo shade is more of a cyan. Next, we're getting into a green matte, which is called Power Plant, which looks something like that, which pairs really well with the Green Queen shade. Next, we have OG Sour. Oh, now that is gorgeous. And then last but not least, is Blue Dream, which is almost a teal shade, which does not swatch. I'm like digging in, which looks about like that. So that's the swatches for the palette. Now we're going to get into the eye look. And I figured that this was a good one to play with, with it being right around Halloween with the purples and greens, and it matches my Halloween shirt. So, we're gonna go ahead and apply some eye primer, which this is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. And this is just about this palette, so I'm gonna do my face off camera. And this just gives a good base for eyeshadows to stick to and doesn't like lighten my eyelids too much. So I think what we're going to start with is Purple Urkel. I'm gonna take a big blending brush, which I'm using the Morphe M441, and dip into that Purple Urkel shade. Coats the brush pretty well, but there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan. And we're just going to start applying that as our transition shade. Which as you can see, there's not a whole lot of pigment. So let's see if we can build it up. But that was the main thing, is the shipping time on this was just astronomical. Crazy long for it to be shipping. Because as I said, it got stuck in Puerto Rico for six weeks. And my daughter had messaged them on Instagram and they didn't respond till she filed a claim with PayPal. So... But she did get an extra pair of lashes because when she ordered it, since it was day one, she did get an extra pair of lashes. 
Okay, so that color definitely looks a little on the patchy side, but I think we can fix it. I hope we can fix it. Just blend, blend, blend. And typically, like, that's why I do these videos live. A lot of people who do makeup will not show the whole process. And I keep my eye looks simple because I know which shape works well for my face. And I'm sorry if you can hear the train. My new studio is by the train tracks because we don't live far from the train. So that's looking a little bit better. Just keep building up the pigment which it definitely is coming out a little grungier has a lot more pink to it and there's not enough pigment that is really covering my eye discoloration underneath so just so you know that's part of the reason why i like to test it on the milani eyeshadow primer because that's the one that i use the most so i figure that will give me a true indication of how it looks so now I think I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This is the M Morphe M506. And we're going to go into that teal shade, Blue Dream, and to see if we can use that to deepen up the crease. Okie dokie. Do you see that? those shades are not playing well with each other in the least little bit okay give me a minute i'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna wipe this off and start with a different eyeshadow primer so i'm back i grabbed my anastasia eyeshadow primer put just the tiniest bit And that lightens and kind of fixes the discoloration in my eyes so that way hopefully we'll be able to see the true colors of this and that's part of the thing is i want y'all to see whenever things go wrong so we can see if it's the eyeshadow primer or the eyeshadow itself but for the most part i've never really had to wipe off and start over like that so let's try something a little bit different so maybe we're gonna play with OG sour that lime green and we're gonna use that as our transition shade so much kick up Okay. Cause this one had the best swatch. That's doing better. As you can see, there's not that patchiness there that was on my eye before. And I'm using that same Morphe uh, M506. Now I'm gonna take the same brush and go into the shade Power Plant, which is that Kelly Green that kind of shies towards forest and blend that in. And as you can see, I'm keeping that lower in the crease just to deepen up the OG sour color. Okay. 
which seems to be doing okay. But typically blue and purple play well together and they were not playing well together today. Huh. I'm gonna take my original Morphe M441 brush, the big blending brush, and just use that to lighten and blur out the edges. So far, I will tell you, I am not in love with this palette. So I'm gonna take the shade Green Queen, which is that green metallic, and apply that all over my lid. which that is applying beautifully with a finger. So maybe we can salvage the look. So I do like how the metallics apply, even with just applying it with a finger. Not a big fan of the mattes, but you know, it is what it is. And it's kinda staining my finger. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the shade Fuzzy, which is that blue-pink duochrome that had no real underbase to it. And apply that lightly to give my eyes just a little bit more pop. Kind of press that over, as you can see. All right, I'm not sure if you can. So just applying that with my finger and just popping it on wherever I had that metallic. Did y'all see that? I got it though. Now I'm taking and going back in with that same M506 and just making sure my edges are pretty clean. Because applying a shimmer with your finger, especially when you have sausage fingers like I do, it can kind of transfer up. I want to apply a little bit more of that to this eye. And I really do love that color. Look how pretty that is. I think I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. Okay, so that's the top look for now. Let me go ahead and go put the rest of my face on and then we will do the bottom lashes and I will give you my final thoughts. So as you can see, I have the rest of my makeup on other than putting the eyeshadow underneath my eyes and mascara. I'm wearing the nightshade color from Pat McGrath. It's like a deep purple, almost black. And I put a little bit of ColourPop Ursula gloss over it just to kind of give it some shine, but I figured it's Halloween time. Might as well play with the dark colors. Now, we're going to start off with that Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to go into that shade that I originally tried to try, which was the purple Urkel shade. And bring that under my eye. Still, it kind of looks dingy, so I'm going to take, this is just a little e.l.f. concealer brush, Tea Tiny, and I'm going to go in that purple metallic shade called Berry Kush and use that to bring some more purple into this eye look, almost using it as liner on my bottom lashes, and then we will blend it out. because I love the purple and greens, and I do love the color combination of this eyeshadow palette, but I don't think it's worth $30. The pictures of the swatches that they did, they must have been done wet because that is not how this eyeshadow applies or really swatches at all other than that lime green shape. 
but bringing that berry kush shade in I think was a good idea so I'm gonna take my BH cosmetics number 11 brush just lightly put some of that purple on there since it's a much smaller pencil brush and just blend that out using that berry kush metallic shade okay now I'm going to take Purple Urkel again on my Morphe M504 and keep it close but just soften up the edges because I have under eye lines I want to make sure that is nice and soft and blended out so that looks pretty good so there are some shades in here that work pretty well so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that Morphe 11 brush, use my Matte Fix Plus, which is getting to its last leg. That is the pink shimmer. And I'm going to go into my Morning Star Highlight by Melt Cosmetics and grab just the tiniest bit of that and use that on my brow bone. Use it again as the start to my inner corner highlight. So I want to use that same shade, that daddy or fuzzy shade, that duochrome, tri trichrome, multichrome, however you want to say it, that I used on my eyelid. I want to use that as my inner corner highlight. Okay. Now I'm going to take that same Wet Max Fix, Fix Plus brush and go into the shade fuzzy and just apply that oh that looks pretty tight in my inner corner okay so pretty much the eyes are done I'm just gonna throw on some mascara I'm using the damn girl by Too Faced which is a good mascara for top lashes not for bottoms but you know we're working with what we got over here ah. and as you can see I got it all over my eyelid so we're just going to take and wipe that away blend it away driving me nuts okay that's good let's take a little bit of that green the first one OG sour and just apply a little bit more green since I wiped some of it away there we go so now my eyes look pretty even so what do you think I love the unique color story of this palette I really love the metallics the fuzzy shade I use the Berry Kush, the Green Queen, Indigo Swatched Well, and Daddy Purp are awesome. The shade OG Sour is a pretty lime green. It is probably not the best lime green that I've used, but the purples, the purple matte, which was Purple Urkel, this shade right here, did not perform well at all, and neither did the shade Blue Dream. So when you're talking about a 10 pan palette, and I get that it's an independent brand. It is not worth $30 unless you just want to spend $30 on the packaging because the packaging is absolutely adorable. As you can see, it's got the holographic. It is so super cute. So stinking cute. I always say super cute. This lip shade is letting me know that I need to whiten my teeth. Anything like that, I don't know if y'all deal with that. But I do think the look came out pretty. What do you think? But this palette is definitely not worth $30. I'm glad my daughter bought it and not me. Plus the shipping time on it was terrible. So I would not recommend this palette unless you just like the packaging. 
Now remember, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. We post new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which I didn't get one up on Wednesday, but I was dealing with the insurance company over the flood for Imelda. Yes, always fun. Um, don't forget to check me out on all my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as my main channel, which is where I do all my crafts, Cutting Corners Vinyl. So I guess that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.